Welcome back everybody. It is 840. Well, tomorrow, Saturday, is National Catfish Day. In 1987, President Ronald Reagan designated June 25th as the National Catfish Day by Presidential Proclamation. Yeah, of course, we are celebrating a little earlier here on Good Day Virginia. WFXR's Hayes Marie Anderson is in the community kitchen with our very own outdoors bound George Nolov. Good day to the both of you. Good day. All right, Georgie, we have been frying up some catfish all morning long all celebrating morning. National Catfish Day. You know, walk us real quick about, you know, how do we fry them up? You know, because you said, and it's pretty easy. Like, you've just been like, this is what you do, 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 do. So for folks who are just tuning in, how do you fry up catfish? Easy is better with catfish. <laughs> I mean, it's a, it's a real mild, white, flaky fish. Mm -hmm. I, I do a little seasoned flour, mm -hmm. which I put in a baggie yeah. like that. And then you can throw it away after you're yep. done. Put the fillets in there, shake mm -hmm. it up into a little egg. Now, do you put a little milk in there? Could you? You can, yeah. Okay. And then into my, uh, I've got panko here because okay. I got all fancy Look on Look at you being fancy. Uh, but breadcrumb will work or you can just dip it right back in the flour and then boom into the uh, the deep I like to deep fry it. Mm -hmm. uh, we're talking. Oh that's a nice one. Yeah about 350 degrees. Mm -hmm. oh, boom as I slam it onto the it's plate. It's okay. Thing. It's okay. Now how hot should the oil be? About 350 degrees if I you know I don't have a, a kitchen thermometer with me right now. Because you're a you're, you're professional fryer well, so you're just eyeballing everything. Or I may have just forgotten it at home. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making you sound great. So talk about this trick that you were teaching me a little bit in the break. When the catfish is done, you know when it's done when doesn't it float to the it, top? Yeah, it'll sink to the bottom. Okay. And when it gets done, it'll release and come up. Okay. If you try and force it up before that, a lot of times it'll stick. You don't want to do that. Just let it come up. You know, take yeah. your time, you know, here, you know. You know, and George, you teach us so much when it comes to fishing and outdoor spawns types of things. You know, in our area, we are really special. We have how many types of catfish here? We've got uh, four big catfish uh -huh. that, that you can catch and eat like this. Uh, channel cats are the yeah. predominant. You've got white cats, which are very similar to channels. You've got flatheads, which get up to 100 pounds. You've got Ooh, blues. That's a big old fish. 120 pounds. Good grief. Yeah. Now, you don't want to eat the big ones. You want to, when the blues and the flatties, you, uh -huh. want, to, you want to eat the small ones. So, you know, 8 to 15 pound okay. fish there. The channels, though, you can catch them all day long. And then you caught this, correct? This, yeah. We caught this now at Smith Mountain Lake. So, okay. So, once again, not only are we celebrating National Catfish Day, but we're also putting our debate to bed when it comes to the best hot sauce. Now, I want to let everybody know this is a disclaimer. We are not paid to do this. This has been a natural debate that we've been having for quite some time. You want to go to their website and you'll see all the little hot sauce that we've been talking about. I'm going to try this time. I've tried a lot throughout the morning. Let me grab this little nugget. And which one should we try? That's the Trappies the Blue, trappies. Louisiana. I haven't tried this one yet. I tried it and it's... it's. This is going to be a natural reaction. I'm going to just add a dollop. Okay, boom. Okay, boom. Here we go. I'm scared, George. Don't be... Okay. Yeah. It's not bad. It's a, it's a nice mild... Like, it's not mild, yeah. but it has a nice heat to it. This could be whatever you grew up with. I mean, I, I grew up with Texas Peter Franks. And I love Franks. Oh, yeah. I know there's some people back in the studio right now that would say different when I say Frank's, Frank's? hot sauce. Uh -oh. Isn't that right? Look, no, no, look, look at their faces. No, no, uh -oh. no. I say Tabasco. Tabasco's not bad. Crystal's not bad. Tabasco's okay. I just like a nice thick heat. And I feel like Frank's, and I will even say, what is it, Texas Pete? Texas Pete isn't bad. Texas Pete is not bad. Okay. No, no. It's Tabasco. <laughs> <laughs> well, again, folks, you too can weigh in and tell us what your favorite hot sauce is. We have all sorts of options for you to vote on, including Texas Pete, Melinda's, Tabasco, Frank's Hot Sauce, or Trappies. And from the looks of the poll so far, Texas Pete is at 38%, so that's number one. Frank's is at 25%. Oh, it's a tie there, hey, Frank's and Tabasco come sauce. On, my Tabasco and there's lovers. also a tie between Melinda's and Trappies at zero. No, 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 Melinda's so, at 12. Oh, yeah, Melinda's at 12. Okay, so did it just update? Yeah. Okay, so Melinda's at 12, Trappy's at zero. Um, okay, so we have a different array of Tastes. what people like <laughs> when it comes to hot sauce. But I say that Texas Pete heat, that Texas Pete heat. Yeah. No, no, it's all about Tabasco. <laughs>
It's not too, not too spicy, not too mild, but it's just right. <laughs> of course, we have time for you guys if you want to vote. You can do so by going to our website, wfxrtv.com slash connect. And we're going to check in with those results a little later on.